I was getting ready to get on the tractor and I, I wanted to see if the glasses would pick it up. What I've noticed working with this sprayer and the way it's set up, it's got a whole lot better tank agitation uh, circulation than that other sprayer I had. That movement is with the tractor just barely idling. Speed it up a little bit. Let's see what we got now. Big difference. Yep, I like that thing. For the new subscribers that haven't uh, seen me spraying and how I do it, I don't have a working tachometer. On a Ford 4000, the tachometer runs off the generator, and I got rid of the generator and put an alternator on it. It's a whole lot better charging system. Well, there's no place to put the tack. Well, what you need to do is find the correct RPM to give you the, the ground travel speed that you want. If you want to be able to go across your field without beating you, you know, to death, flopping your booms all around. So you find that speed, you do a time and distance travel measurement on it, and then you need to be able to return to that RPM. Once I found that RPM, I took this piece of wire, hooked it right here, and I cannot, as long as that wire's tied on there like it is, I cannot go past a certain RPM on that motor, which means I've got my ground speed set up. There's always a way to do something if you think your way through it. And speaking of doing something, let me get out there and do something. I'm trying to talk about up there at the shop. When I ran out of mix, I stuck the flag here, and all the way over yonder's done. From here, well, there is not done. Well, basically I got the tractor lined up and I see what row to put the front tire in and just follow the row. But here's that curved field deal. If I turn on the spray right now, I'll kill all my border grass. So by the time that side of the boom actually gets into the field, I have a big gap right here. So it's kind of like a headland. So I have to start down at that corner and come back around all the way back up through there because I've had the same problem back there where there's an angle in that area. You know, if you come out here and look at this, and I've mixed up about 40 gallons. Hmm, I don't know. Let's just do it. Ugh. Pick up the flag. I'm going to have to buy a foam marker because I can't, I can't count rows. It's too many. That row counting days are over. But I think I see how to add some hardware somewhere up here and put a foam marker in it. And all I really need is a spot of foam out here at the end. I don't need a, a, a row of foam up the row because once I find that and find the row to put that front tire in, I just follow the row and it'll, it'll work out right but you can't, I just haven't been able to figure out how to count the rows with this wide of a boom. I like the thing, but I need a, a, one of those foam marker things. Yep, that's gonna be a must. Oh boy, I'll let y'all ride with me. This is boring, but this is that uh, spot where I had the uh, rye grass, like you see right there, and when I just mowed it down, all that seed went back in here, and I must have strode it good. I think some of that is uh, something called nut grass that's been in this field for a while. And there's some pretty serious patches of water hemp in there too. Beans are, actually I wouldn't have sprayed them this small, but the water hemp and the grass is choking them out. And because we just can't seem to get any hot weather, they're not doing well. 
but we'll spray them and see what we get. You can just barely follow the row up there. I see the one I want that tire in right there. I have to kind of focus and concentrate on it. All right, fourth gear, low range. Get in the field. All right, that boom is in the field now. And that's how much is, a little gap is going to be. But like I said, I'll just end dress it. And you know, reaching that is not really that hard. on this pole right here and watch that car go right up that row right there. That's all I gotta do. Occasional glance back at the boom to make sure it's playing. Alright. Yeah that side working. Yeah that side working. To get this grass knocked down out of here. Maybe we'll get some hot weather. Know one thing, all this water over here on this edge of the field where it's so sandy, things are doing pretty good over here. Now you're probably thinking, man, this is a bunch of work, but it is, but it's the only way I know to get it right because like I said I can't count rows too many of them and see I got that curvature thing I stopped the spray when that boom got to the edge that spot there didn't get any spray and you wondering what I'm doing with the flag well watch this I need to know where to line up so that boom got that row I'll put flag right there and I need, when I turn around, I need that boom to line up on that. Like I said, when I get that uh, foam marker, I just drop a splotch of foam and down here, you know, at each end. And I'd have that foam to look at, and I'd line up on the foam. Yeah, I think I'm going to have me one of those next year. They're not all that expensive. I think I saw one for about $450. You know, ready to go kid out of the box. Of course, this was ready to go, and I had to go through it and fix it, but it's fixed. It works. Oh, man.